Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Archives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get a free domain name. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, if you're looking for a way to basically get a free domain here, there are a few things I need to know here. And in this case, let's go ahead and discuss those first. So first things first, what is a domain? So a domain by its definition is an address that you could set to your website and basically think of this as an address or the home address for your website. So it is a unique way to identify your website or your shop depending on what website or in this case what you are currently hosting. So in this case just a good example I have a uh, Shopify store here. Now by default Shopify does give you a domain, but the thing here is it actually has a different address here. So in this case, just to give you another definition here, uh, the address I have right now, which includes the store name and the .myshopify.com is actually, this one is actually called a subdomain. Now a subdomain is a, from the name itself, is a, a sub address within that specific uh, address or domain. Now, in my case, we have myshopify.com as the main domain, but I only have a sum domain. So meaning you don't own this address, but you do have the right to use the subdomain for it because you have your name for it. So in this case, the real question here is, can you actually get free domains for your website? Well, in this case, doing a search free or a short research here for finding uh, free domains on the web it's actually going to say uh, the following. So there are going to be a lot of choices that you can choose from. It's going to say free domain, free domain, free domains here. Well, the truth is with domains, domains being free aren't actually true. So most domains, if you want to use them, they need or you need to buy the right to use that specific domain. Now, like for example, if you go to a website here, like for example, I've just went to Freenome and you search for a specific domain here, it's going to give you different options here and usually it's going to say not available right now. But just underneath there here, it's going to say free domains that you might want to get, which in this case are actually pretty cheap here. But then again, you might, or in this case, you're still looking for a free one. Well, the reality of getting uh, domains here is none or there's no way for you to get a free domain. But websites do actually, or different platforms out there actually offers a way for you to basically uh, get domains for a cheaper price. So for example, in my case, I actually got a domain from a specific website here, which is Namecheap, which in this case, when you get one of their plans here, so if you go, are going to search for a specific address, so just enter the following name here and just start searching. Usually when you actually see some of the offers here, it's going to offer you that specific domain for a discounted price. Now, usually, so let's just, so let's look for somewhere here. So. As you can see, uh, this address, like for example, the Renzi.inc here is 52% off. But this is only 52% off for the first year or depending on what are the conditions. So in this case, instead of paying 3,000, you just need to pay like around 1,400, which is uh, around 50%, like what we saw here, 52% here. So basically you're just uh, paying like 48% of the original price. But after a certain period or after one year, usually it's going to revert to its original plan. So if you want to try using a domain, you might want to leverage one of the cheaper options here. Like for example, if one of the domains here that you want to use is on sale, like this one is that the Renzi.dev here is around 50% off the original price is 23, but the price around is 11. So you might want to leverage that because again, there's no way for us to get free domains out there. Now, in this case, if you really don't want to buy a domain here, you could still leverage subdomains like what we discussed before. So for example, if you want to host an e-commerce, you might want to use websites like a Shopify, which gives you the option to have a free subdomain here, at least uh, uh, as long as you have a uh, plan with it. 
So if you have a plan with them, you could use the subdomain uh, that we have here and basically start hosting your e-commerce website. But if you just want to host a specific website that you want to uh, showcase to your people or if you want to showcase your skills out there or if you just want to have a simple blog, well, in this case, a WordPress website is a lot better. Now, this is just another example here. I actually have a website here, which in this case is being hosted by PantheonSite.io. So the main domain is Pantheon.site.io, but my uh, my address here or my website is the following. So I only have a subdomain. But the great thing about this one is I don't have to pay for anything. It's totally free. So you just need to configure it. So yeah. So currently, if you're looking for a way to get a free subdomain, well, unfortunately, that will be hard. And in most cases, if someone actually offers you or a website offers you a free subdomain, most likely they are trying to scam you or in this case, they might be trying to hack you. So be careful out there, whatever or in this case, whatever you're trying online. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.